What's up, everybody? So, this is Russ with RWGResearch.com, uh, and I told you guys I was looking for a bike wheel yesterday on the live show. I thought about where I could get one, went and looked, didn't have them where I thought I had them. Um, so, I drove next to a bike shop, and they wanted like 38 bucks for an 18 inch aluminum rim, just the rim. Um, and I would get that, but I thought there's got to be a rim somewhere in the world. So, I know this uh, house, okay, and I used to drive out this house every day, and there was bikes out front for sale, strapped to a tree. Like, every day there'd be a different bike. So, I thought, I'll just stop by there. I'm sure he's got some bikes somewhere that are not good. Stopped in there, really nice gentleman. Um, had a pile of old stuff, so he let me dig through it and take whatever I wanted. So, I'm going to show you what I got. I really wanted an aluminum rim. Some of you are going to go, why do you want this rim rest? Um... I am building a toroidal coil winder for the EPG. You could use it for other stuff, but it's really for the EPG. Um, and basically, uh, Hawk49-1000, I believe is the, guy, is the guy's username, uh, he built one with, a, uh, with an aluminum rim for an EPG. Uh, and it's, it's genius. It's really simple, works good, it's all that matters. So I'm going to kind of replicate basically what he's got. Mine will probably be a little different, but same principle. Uh, the rim will be fit in between, so you got like the EPG and then the aluminum rim or the rim tied together. And then uh, you have to watch this video how it's made or just wait and watch how I make mine. But anyway, I want to show you what I did get. Uh, he just gave them to me. He said, here you go. I really wanted an aluminum rim because usually they already have a slot cut in them um, where they're manufactured. So the steel ones are usually not like that. So I got a couple different kinds. He let me have them all. So the first one here I got is an aluminum rim. Um, he had quite a few of them, but I spun most of them and they weren't straight. So I had to get, obviously get a straight one. Um, right there you can see the splice. Um, that's what I was talking about. You should be able to pop that loose. It might be kind of uh, tack welded, but I really, I don't know, but I think the spokes may even hold it together. But I'm sure it's tacked together. So I can might, may, might be able to break that loose or I can just make another cut. Uh, here's another one. I believe that's uh, about a 16 inch wheel. This is another about 16 inches. Um, steel. Uh, it looks pretty straight. It's got a little ridge built into it. As you can see right there. So it's like extra sturdy. So that might actually be a very good thing. Um, so I kind of I liked that one. And then the other ones I just grabbed. They're a little bit bigger. But I think they're going to be too big for what I'm doing. Um, I really like the smaller ones better. Uh, my jig can be a little more sturdy that way, maybe. I think that's a... Uh, that looks like about a 28. And that looks like a... Almost like a 30. That's a big one. Um, this one might be smaller. This one might be like a 24 or something. But another steel one there. Um, but yeah, so I was, I was excited. And while I was there digging through the junk pile, I found this. And this is a... I believe this is... Uh, not uh, aluminum. I believe, I believe this is stainless, but it almost looks like aluminum. I, I'm not sure. I'd have to get a magnet. Actually, I couldn't even do that. I, I figured out, but it looks like some sort of a filter. Um, and the reason I wanted this is because it worked great for um, a bubbler. Uh, even though it is steel, you kind of want it to blow up, not explode and kill somebody. But uh, I thought, hey, if it'll let me take it, I'll take it. So I grabbed it. Oh, it was a great little, little canister. Uh, if you guys actually know what this goes to, let me know. I, I don't know. Almost looks like hydraulics. Um, it's got them really funny fittings on it. So, anyway, I'm going to quit boring you guys. Um, it is possible. I will go live later this evening uh, getting set up for the jig, but I'll probably just be running around looking for parts. Uh, don't hold that to me. Um, but if you're on, browse over there. Maybe on. I, I don't know. Um, I'm pretty tired, so I may go to bed early. I don't know. So, this Russ, rwgresearch.com. Just want to show you that uh, people are out there in the world and they're uh, giving away their their great stuff and their great uh, thinking. So, uh, Hawk491000 is the guy's username. Um, and he posted a video today. I watched it. And he's got some... It's exactly what he's uh, what Stan was talking about. And he's on to it. He's read the patents. He's, he understands it. So... Uh, Hawk, if you watch this, get on the forums, open-source-energy.org. Um, I know you've been probably to the website, rwgresearch.com. But get on the forums and post some stuff. 
post your thoughts and your findings and definitely post your EPG work because it is it is good stuff and uh, you know you're not following it by the book and that's good we don't we don't necessarily want to follow it by the book we want to explore the options and you're doing a wonderful job at that thumbs up um, I say guys uh, I just want to say thanks to everybody and I'm gonna let you go and uh, next videos try to get more videos in of the building process because I know you guys like watching that so I'll try to do that later